From his earliest days in politics, Bertie Ahern was admired for his informality. He was fondly ridiculed for wearing an anorak and for his style of speaking. He was a fixer with a huge ability to knock heads together. His mentor, Charles Hohey, spotted his special qualities, describing Ahern as the most cunning, the most devious, the best of them all. Usually pleasant in public, only rarely was he rattled. Well, that's if you stop waffling. If you stop waffling, we might get some work done. You're a waffler. You've been years around here waffling. Bertie Ahern first became Taoiseach in 1997 at the age of 45. The Dubliner had earlier been Minister for Finance and for Labour. He was separated from his wife and faced down criticism by giving a prominent role to his then partner, Celia Larkin. The economy was booming during his first term. The Celtic Tiger era of low interest rates, record building schemes, almost full employment. The Fianna Fáil PD coalition was returned in 2002. The first time in over three decades an outgoing government was re-elected. The main issues are those is they're trying to sustain the economy, uh, to keep the Irish economy strong, to keep employment strong. Prosperity continued during his second term. But there was growing disquiet about inequities in society, hospital waiting lists, poor schools, crime levels. He declared himself a socialist as his government sought to change priorities, and as Minister for Finance, certainly not a socialist, was sent to Brussels as commissioner. Throughout all these years in power, Ahern was exceptionally popular. He remained an ardent GAA supporter, but despite the economic boom, he was unable to win support for a new national sports stadium, the Bertie Bowl. And before the election of 2007, major questions about his financial affairs. He had to explain why he took substantial sums from friends following the breakup of his marriage. The trouble was that um, in the separation I agreed to provide uh, 20,000 for my children to an education account as part of the agreement that, that I made. Um, don't like having to get these details of my children, but my, uh, for completeness. Um, and I did that. And I also um, had to pay off other bills. Um, so the money I'd saved was gone. So my friends knew that. But after a difficult and closely fought election in 07, Bertie Ahern pulled off another hat trick, winning a third term as Taoiseach the first leader since Eamon de Valera to win three elections in a row. This time he formed a four-legged coalition with the Greens, the depleted PDs and some independents. But even on the night of this sensational election outcome, he was somewhat irritable, especially at the media. Huge media criticism by, 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 by 95% and, you know, being, being hammered and not being able to get your message across and all the controversies that I get into and all of that. And, and, and to be able to come out of for him, I mean, this is an exceptional vote for the party. With his third government in place, Bertie Ahern had some time to enjoy the arrival of his first grandchildren, twins Rocco and Jay. He also took the unusual step of naming his preferred successor. But in the past few months, he was unkindly described as a dead man walking, politically speaking because of revelations at Dublin Castle. And with the economy less buoyant, Bertie Ahern had precious little opportunity to savour his outstanding achievement of securing a third term in office. Joel 